I just have a bad feeling, so I'm gonna trust my gut and... Starting route to Los Angeles. I've always wanted to move to LA, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm taking you along with me. I don't know what I'm doing and not much is planned, but let's do this. anymore just kidding we definitely are are you seeing this this is definitely Kansas like we are in Kansas good morning from Kansas I am staying in this really small town called Russell Kansas it's right off of I-70 and I'm at oh my god there's a cat come here come here come here are you kidding are you kidding Are you serious right now? Are you kidding? Yeah. I love Kansas. As I was saying before I got interrupted by a little kitty, I'm staying in Russell, Kansas. It's a really small town off of I-70 in the middle of nowhere. It's like actually dead center in Kansas. And I can't wait to explore Kansas today because I drove in last night at like one in the morning. So it was completely dark and pouring. Okay, you know what? Can I just film this for a second? Kitties in Kansas are a little rude. It is freezing and very windy. I don't know why I was expecting it to be warm, but it's not. It feels like winter. Okay, you know what? You have to quiet down. Today I don't really have much of a plan. I'm just driving to Colorado, so I have about five hours until I reach Denver, and I can't wait to see the open road because it's been a dream of mine to just drive through fields and nothingness and just, you know, drive through the American heartland. So I'm gonna take you along with me and I just wanna get lost today. I just wanna drive off different exits and see nothing and maybe find something? I don't know. Hey, it's purring. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let, let me show you the Airbnb because it's really cool. Hi, is this your barn? Okay, so we have the kitchen right here. We have a living room, a little, table. I was checking the weather earlier because I was like, it is freezing. And it is just so cozy. It is just, I love it. Honestly, I would live here if I had the chance. Let's go upstairs. So this really scared me. I don't know who that is and I don't want to know who that is. And oh, I didn't even know there was a deer head, of course. Okay. And this is my favorite part. It's like a bridge that leads to the bedroom. And look how cozy. It was such a nice slumber. That's the door that leads to the deck where I filmed the intro. Look at that. So that's the Airbnb. It was only $135 for the night. And I'd say that's a pretty good deal for what we have here. And it came with a little kitty. We're gonna head out because I think the checkout time was like an hour ago. <laughs> so, I'll see you on the road. Okay, let me know why I'm like literally crying right now. I am just so happy. I'm in Kansas. How am I in Kansas right now? Like, I don't understand. That was where I slept last night, that little tiny barn in the middle of nowhere. I can't stop smiling. I don't know why, I've just always wanted to come to Kansas and here I am and it's just what I thought. Fields and some hay bales, that's it. And that's all you need, right? I'm driving nowhere right now. I don't really want to get on the highway yet. So I'm just driving on this back road and we're gonna see what we find. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm starting to get like low-key scared because there's absolutely no one around here and I feel like the children of the corn are gonna pop out any second. So, we're gonna get out of here. I've been on deserted roads for like the past hour getting to this park and I just have a bad feeling, so I'm gonna trust my gut and GTFO. Starting route to Denver. I feel like I'm already lost, okay. <sighs> There's no one around. Turn left. Just me and Edwin. My GPS's name is Edwin. In 1.9 miles, turn right. Okay, he's making me feel like someone's with me. I don't know, I usually don't get scared. If something went wrong right now, if my car just broke down, I don't know what I would do. I think I'd have to sleep here or walk somewhere. As you saw, there's nothing around, like, at all. Okay, I'm stretching because my foot fell asleep while driving. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm slowly starting to just go crazy while being alone, if you couldn't tell. But I'm happy to be here. It's just crazy when you're somewhere and you just know you're never going to come back. Like, I'll never be in this spot again for as long as I live. I'm back on I-70 en route to Colorado. Today was such a fun day in Kansas. I'm still in Kansas, but I'm just back on the road for the rest of the night. And I just love today, like being amongst the fields. I don't know, there's just something about all the openness that just makes me feel good. Anyone relate? Something I've noticed while driving for hours on the same highway is that you pass the same cars like multiple times. And I almost feel like I know these people now. Like there's a black car up there that I keep like passing. Like I feel like there's like tension between us. Like we made eye contact a few times. It's like, are we friends? Are we enemies? What's going on? This is me closing out the Kansas part of this series. I hope you've been enjoying it so far. I'll talk to you in the next day.